course. how would you feel about a woman being in your life yeah. and she doesn't want to stop working? So why would you have another boss? You can't be under two bosses. Who's the boss? Who's the first boss? What's the purpose for the job? What if she likes it? What's, what's, no, you just want the money. What if it's not about the money? Yeah, if it's not about the money, have, then yeah, you don't have to be money. working. Yeah, then you don't have to be working this long. Submissive. When I say the word submissive, immediately that goes crazy. Respect. Uh, what yeah. does that mean? Respect is just how you speak to the man. The bags, the shoes, the travel, the accessories. You're describing gold diggers. Absolutely. And okay. there's so many of them. So you have the gold diggers here, gold digger, yeah, women who want a man who does it all, has it all. Yeah. Yeah, brings her all. And a woman who is a go-getter and does it for herself. But Those are the two, two women you're but describing. Then our parents and grandparents did way less work to get a way better woman. And now the amount of work that I would put to get a quarter of the woman they could have before us. Only in the darkness did I find my light. Engage my lower and my higher while I'm in between the fight of wrong and right. Role playing in the parade of nature while stripping layers of my many faces. Tricks of ego trips. Journeys to nowhere. Now, here we are, in the same world that takes and gives, where everybody dies, but not everybody lives. Yes, trauma and stress, but also our greatest powers lie suppressed, in feared shadows, just craving to be expressed. Yalla, there we go. Perfect. Round two. Yeah, round two. We changed clothes this time. <laughs> so blue. It's another day. Another day. We changed clothes. Fixed my beard. We changed subjects. Changed watches. <laughs> exactly. But the bag is the same. Have to be. Trademarks. For people who are not aware, this is um, Ahmed bin Sheba. We spoke each other a couple days ago for our first podcast. Yes. But we were running out of time and we felt like we needed a little bit more time. If you have checked the podcast, we ended it like this. Like, can we have more time? So we're doing two more hours. Yeah, we're doing two more hours on a different day, a different story. But well, welcome back. Yeah, let's do this. How are you today? I'm phenomenal. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Magical, good. darling. Magical, darling. That's yeah. that's the right answer. That's, <laughs> that's better than good. 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 Average. You don't do good. No, no. Either phenomenal, tremendous, magical. You psych yourself towards feeling these things. Even though not, but you say it, look, I am. So even if you don't feel magical, yeah. even if you don't feel phenomenal, yeah. you just say it. Yeah, throw you off. It's nice. Okay, it starts with the words. Yeah. And then you start to believe it. Mm -hmm. And if you're really lucky, you will start feeling it. Probably. <laughs> Do you remember our last topic? No. You we don't spoke remember? before? Who is this? What are we doing here? Uh -oh. What is going on here? Yeah. Is this okay. like the mental disorder, multiple yeah, yeah. Pers That's personalities like, talking to me? Yeah, yeah. Control, delete. <laughs> I don't keep things in my head. I wake up, new day. I can, I can remind you if you want. God, okay, go ahead. So um, when we were running towards the last yeah. part of our podcast, it was about partnership. Uh -huh. And then you said something about my uh, woman needs to be feminine. And yeah. then we didn't have much time. Mm -hmm. We just say amen for this woman who needs to yeah, <laughs> who yeah. needs to accomplish and tick all the boxes, all the filters that you have. Yeah. Um, and then the cameras went off, and we continued talking. So I'd yeah. like to like pick up where we left off: partnership, mm. yes, femininity, masculinity, relationships. Mm. So many things. Oh, <laughs> so many things. Why do you even care about these things? I love talking about those Why? things. Why? Yeah, I'm just interested in everything that keeps us human beings busy and relationships is one of them yeah but again like people are built different yeah yeah so so yeah. so so do you think relationships don't like there's no one truth fit all no there's no one whatever makes you tick but every human be being is in a relationship in a relationship yeah, with another yeah, human being relationship, few companionship, companionships so that's in a way they're different but they're similar in the same time mm -hmm. so yeah it's very interesting do you feel comfortable talking about it today? Uh, sometimes. Don't say no because that's the only topic for today. Oh God! You have nothing else. So next, no. I was gonna say next. Ah, la la la. Uh, go ahead. What do you wanna? Yeah. 
So um, I always like to go back to where we come from, like mm. how you were raised. Like when you were growing up, what did you think of partnership and like the ideal woman? That shifted so many, so many times. Like literally, I, th I think every three, four, six months, I'm like a whole different uh, perspective of what should what should be like in a way. It's always continuously changing because I am continuously changing. Exactly. So, so my priorities changes all the time. But if we go back time. to like as a child, we always. I remember. You don't remember. It's a long time ago. I mean, it's it's always like your your parents are the first examples, right? Yeah. Like you see your mom and dad, and you think like, oh, this is what a relationship looks like, and mm. this is what it should be. Yeah. So that's like our first example. Like, what was the image that you got from them? The standard relationship. What is the standard? Because remember, we oh, yeah. we come from different, yeah, both yeah. different worlds. Yeah, in a way. You know, I was raised in yeah, exactly. I was raised in Holland. Yeah. I, I but you both parents were Arabs. Yes. So both that, of my parents were yeah, Moroccan. So that that they carried that with them, anyways. So the same behaviors they carried with them in a sense. So what is the behavior? In what the, what is the standard? Like the man is the head of the house, woman supports and helps take care of the kids and the family and the house and so on and so on and all this nonsense. Yeah, nonsense. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> again, because like, again, it, it keeps changing. Like like every, like like when I see what I want now in last year and the year before it and the year before that, it's like wow, that is like dramatically changed. Okay, so what changed? Me. I'm the constant thinker, uh, keep changing. I'm always keep growing. It's like, no, that's not what I need. Okay. Because the growth that I'm going through, then I understand, no, it's not only about this looks or this behavior or this. No, it needs to be more than that. Substance, energy. Mm -hmm. These two things, like, you know, either you have it or you don't have it. I can't teach it to you. Either you are that person or you're not. Mm -hmm. If you're not, because I can't teach you how to respect me. Either you're not to respect me or you don't. I can't teach you how to care for me. Either you know how to care for me and touch me and do it because you want to do it or you don't. But also that changes. Yeah. Overall, the 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 pillars are the same. Okay. Yeah. Let's dive into respect and taking care and the touch, as you were saying, mm. a little bit later on. Um, I'm curious what changed in perspective. So you grew up with, like you said, the standard household and you know, the standard image of what a marriage should look like. Mm. Um, what changed in your perspective and how do you think it should be now for you? Again, because um, I'm not them. You're not your parents. Yeah, mm -hmm. so my journey, my path is different. The cycle of growth that I went through, they mm -hmm. haven't went through it. So the, how to put this, the tools that I have in position now is different than what they had. And the exposure that I had to people, individuals, comes to men and women or airships much much more about that. So I had more experience in that field. It's like, ah, oh, okay, this and this is not for me. Mm -hmm. So, so what is not for you? Drama. What? <laughs> <laughs> Do drama. But uh, like w when you look at your uh, your example, the first example that you had, your parents. Yeah. The things that are standard and that yeah. you, where you feel like you are breaking through, like you're changing that, you're changing the narrative, you're changing. It's not changing as in, like, okay, because what they had is amazing. What they have is amazing. So what are you doing differently? Or what are you desiring differently from because your parents? Because again, our parents or grandparents did way less work to get a way better woman. And now the amount of work that I would put to get a quarter of the woman they could have before is different. So the women that I'm seeing, not all of them, but there is definitely a few women somewhere, somewhere around the world that are not this way, but the feminist movement, the way think, women think they are... You know, they want to have the career and job is more important than having a family and husband. Okay, that's cool. That's what you want to do. Then don't come to me when you're much later on and you realize your options are disappeared. Oh, you were a good man. I should have taken you before. I was like, yeah, well, it's uh, the train passed. So that's what I keep seeing. Like either that, who just focus so much on career, career and their their jobs, or they just uh, marriage for them is more of a a mean to a need of just living some kind of a dream life. And they mean, my hobby is traveling. No, no, all of us hobby is traveling, but all of us have the time and the money and the energy to do it. So so let me summarize to make sure that I get it oh straight. Oh God, let's see what she's doing. <laughs> she's she's gonna mansplain me now. <laughs> no, no, so I just wanna make sure that I, you were describing two types of women. Two different types of wives. Two different types yeah. of, of women. One who's like uh, focused on career and jobs and yeah, and th thinking that you know being in a relationship will 
derail that. It's like, yeah, if you were the low value man, maybe he's insecure. But when you're a high value man, whatever the hell you're doing, I'm going to show you how to do ten times better. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of times you do not need to have this. This because a lot of times you ask women, do you need if you all your bills are paid for and your rent is paid for, everything you worry about is disappeared, will you still do the job? You won't. You, won't. you will sell. You you say no. I won't do the job. I will. I want to have the peace. I want to have the family. But then you get basic. You're putting yourself in that situation, and they complain about it. Okay, hmm. hold that point. Oh, and then the it. other, and then the other group you were describing are are women who don't do much. Emotionally they, detached. And, and just emotionally detached. Emotionally attached and detached. like looking for detached. Detached. Okay. So they come in detached uh, from themselves or yeah, detached so from. Yeah. So for them, marriage is more of the. Uh, transaction. I want the bags, the shoes, the travel, the accessories. You're describing gold diggers. Absolutely, and okay. there's so many of them. So you have the gold diggers the gold here. Diggers, yeah, the gold diggers and the, the women who think they are not, but they are prostitutes or escorts now. So there's a whole different segment there, which is wow. Okay, so yeah. women who want a man who does it all, has it all. Yeah. Yeah, brings her all, and a woman who is a go-getter and does it for herself. But Those are the two, two women you're but describing. But then, see, the thing with, with this one, the first one we saw about, that, that's amazing that you have that for yourself. But then you, you're not open for anything else. And you're comparing, again, because I'm just talking of my personal level and so on. Yeah. So on. I'm a guy who did this, this, this. So you can't compare it to a guy who's an employee who makes $10,000 a month or whatever, less or whatever, whatever. You know, you can't compare this to this. You can't compare... Um, a Corolla to a Bentley. Yes, both are cars, but both are different experiences. So that's the issue when they, can, when they think being in a relationship with a man will slow them down. Okay. Which is true. A lot of senses, because there's a lot of low value men, men who are insecure and put you down and will stop you being who you are. I've seen that. I was like, really? Why are you doing that? Because they're insecure. Yeah, exactly. It's like, grow up, man. Okay. Be a better man. The, well, there's these two men, there's. I'm, 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 Mm. Sure, there's like more type of oh, women yeah. out there. So you were describing these two. Um, if you look at your own experience, like what is the type you're attracting most at this point in your life? Mm, um, no, not it's not about attracting. It's like who I'm allowing. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. What, I, is, cause, cause what is what is being drawn of, to? Because all, all of that comes in. I was like, okay, now I, I, I'm in a position that like, no, 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 no. Cause yeah, I but what is that type? Are, all of them. Is it mostly gold both. or both? both? Okay, those two, two, both. two type. What are you attracted to? None. I've tried both, and both is not for me at all. You know, because self-made people don't want to go and waste money on that bullshit. And what would you like to attract then? <sighs> don't want anything. It's gonna come. It's gonna come. I'm, I'm literally just like you're an entrepreneur. Li- li- yeah, because I'm. So I didn't even introduce yeah, you properly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know I didn't even introduce him yeah, properly. Yeah. But if you want an introduction, I have like an image of what he's doing. You can either Google or just go to the uh, previous podcast and and and, yeah. and see that. Don't do it now. Do it after. Yeah. But you're an entrepreneur, and you know when you do business, you make a plan, you have a strategy, and like you see it in your head. Yeah. Before it materializes, yeah. and it's it's. it's but again, like, men and women do, do things differently because. A woman, but why don't you do it the same no, with a woman? A woman like you no, need no, to know what you no, want, right? Because a woman, when she sees a man, he's a hundred, he's hundred percent, and then slowly, slowly, ship, ship, ship things off. A man, when she sees a woman, she's zero percent, and then slowly, slowly, you do this, okay, he's five percent. You do this, okay, she gets ten percent more, and then you go up to hundred percent. So we look at things totally different. See that? So different the way we look at relationships. When you come, when you come in, I don't want to say, oh my gosh, she's perfect. I'm, no, no, I want to see that you are perfect. Yeah. So like that, you, when I see you, for me, it's zero percent. Okay, you have brains, okay, there's five percent. You have personality, okay, and then you have this, okay, and then how you do everything adds up slowly, slowly, slowly. I totally get that. Yeah. So the way you experience a woman, when yeah. you interact with her, but before that interaction happens, mm. don't you have like an an image or a desire of how you want a woman to be, like what fits you? Yeah. To, what suits you? To an extent, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And she we does, spoke about this, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but, about, yeah. <laughs> Off camera. <laughs> yeah, on camera too. Yeah, we did all camera also, yeah. Yeah, you had like a checklist. The, the filters. Yeah. I would look at checklists, it's just filters. Filters, yeah. yeah, you call them filters. Yeah, because the checklist is impossible to get. It's a filter just for me to get out the things that I know doesn't work for me. Yeah, so one of the things you were saying was like, she needs to kick ass. Kick ass? Yeah. No, I didn't say that. Yes, yeah, she did. She, uh, she needs to be kick ass for me to even give her attention. Not kick ass in that physical matter, but like, you know, <laughs> she needs to be something, re- okay, why? Like a high value, high value woman, whatever that, what means, that means to you. you. 
Because again, we look at things differently. Women look, oh, I, I want to be successful and strong and rich. Yeah, you're describing a man. For me, as a man, I don't care about your career, your job, your money. These things don't even mean, mean nothing to me. Well, I think, means nothing to I me. think in a way, it does. No, at all. Because Cause a man, because like men like us, like we can go and date a girl who works in a barista. Yeah. You know, I don't care, you know, because I did a barista, I did a, a girl who's a, a VC. So two extremes. It's two extremes. Two extremes. But, and mean, I'm what, telling you. What a person is doing, yeah. like, like we can even separate it from yeah. a relationship. What a, a person is doing says something about their capability. Like if you're working in, um, you know, as a, as a cleaner, yeah, uh, it's different than when you're managing uh, um, a big business. Again, like the qualities mm, you have, yeah. the, the things that you're. But again, women again, like women are the best events managers, and they can run a house by by us. They can run. Not the all women. Yeah, some are some. Some are. Oh my God, I've seen some disasters, you know, and I'm seeing some amazing. Like as I told you before, like you know, like the top six directors in my business are females. My business advisor is a female. My top have four lawyers. Three of them are females. So like I understand the power of having an, an, a female energy around me, mm-hmm. and so how good they are, and so on, and so on. So I'm not against it, but again, when you reach a specific threshold in life, you need to be more cautious who you add in your life because you represent me. Mm-hmm. So again, I go to a meeting and so on, and so on. I have to make sure that the person that I'm bringing with me to to scrap as my partner, my 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 uh, my wife or my girlfriend, whatever it's gonna be, her name is the title, whatever it is. She needs to be a person who's gonna handle that space. Exactly. So it does matter what yeah. she's doing or what she done in her life, the way she thinks, her mental state, uh, her talents, her mm. capability. Mm. It does matter yeah, in a of way. Of course, you can have a PhD and this, 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 but then watch your work. Because you, again, having a degree doesn't mean you are good or bad. Just have education doesn't mean you have knowledge. Just do different things. Because mm-hmm. oh, I, I'm doing my master's, I'm doing my PhD. Why are you wasting time? For who? For myself. And then what? Okay, what's the purpose behind that? Okay, like, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it. Like I had my master, it was the biggest waste of time and money and energy ever I did. Because yeah. like the things that I'm learn from being with people who are intelligent and smart or successful, I, I don't read in any book. The things that I learned by failing my businesses and going through that whole cycle, I don't read in any book or anything. Again, education limits you. And I'm, I'm, I'm a big, like I would never put my kids through university. Like maybe high school, that's it. Not before, like I'm definitely like my kids, like by the age of nine maximum, we're gonna have a company together. Mm-hmm. Because they gotta learn how actually life works, how money works, how you negotiate, how do you uh, do the financing, the accounting, the sales, the reports, all the stuff. Because that's a in your life. So then you will need yeah. a woman who understands that too. Ex- but that's the whole thing. <laughs> if she doesn't understand that, which is a lot of women, it's like no, she has to get education. It's like not really, because like by the time she's high school, she, before high school, by the time she's 13, 14, the kid will know what they want or what's the path they're going through. Because like, I have three of my friends, their kids, all the between nine to 13 years old, are doing the same thing. And actually one of my friends made, make millions because of their kids' ideas. So I believe that's a very powerful tool. Yeah. You know, very powerful tool. Yeah, I think like uh, children are really creative. Very creative. Naturally, and then yeah. um, it depends on what school system you're educated in, of yeah. course, but I feel like most of the schools that I know in Holland are like taking away your creativity and just yeah. like programming exactly. you to think in no a way and thinking. to just follow order, orders yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah, no critical thinking. Like I, like I said this before in many videos before, like uh, the biggest problem with education is three main things that are wrong for it. Number one, that it teaches you that every problem have one solution. In reality, there's multiple solutions for every problem. Number two, that if you do wrong, it's a bad thing, you lose marks. But in reality, only by failing you learn. Success mm-hmm. is the door, the key is called failing. And number three, that working with others is called cheating. No, it's called collaboration and partnerships. You cannot do things alone. That's why a lot of times I see a lot of women that fail in business so hard because oh, I want to do it myself. It's like, you're not supposed to do it yourself. You need to work others. But people want things from me. It's like, people always want things from me because you're a female. You can always say no, like you've always been saying no all your life. Yeah. Just go and get help. Get people. You cannot be alone doing it all yourself. This is the issue with the, the founder syndrome. I can do it best. Yes, you can, but you're going to be a one man, one band show, whatever you want to call it. You never grow from there. Yeah, and that's where I always preach: stop being that, start delegating, start writing systems, and you grow from there. I've scaled my businesses so many times, so, so fast, only because I've left my ego in the in the, in the house. Because no, it's not how you, you grow a business. Yeah.
there was a little bit of an, uh, <laughs> advice <laughs> yeah no, for it, entrepreneurs it, yeah it's entrepreneurs but like people in general you know because yeah. but again it's not being entrepreneurs for everybody it's no not. absolutely not it's not it's, it's not for everybody if you're doing it it's good to collaborate always yeah. Yeah, yeah you 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 gain more by collaborating than fighting absolutely love yeah okay else you were saying that um when you were describing that first group of women mm. who are focused on career yes you were stating that if she gets a man who does it all and pays it all she will stop working most i asked the question all the time how do you know no i asked the question all the time mm-hmm. i asked them and you get two answers. Yes, I will stop. Yeah. No, I still want to do this for myself. Yeah. Cool. Because again, like, that's the whole thing. And you know, and I face So how both. would you feel about a woman um, being in your life, being in your household, sharing a household, yeah. and she doesn't want to stop working? She doesn't, okay, why would you have another boss? You can't be under two bosses. Who's the boss? Who's the first boss? You're the, okay, so the husband is the first boss. Yeah. You All can't right. be under two chefs. But it sounds like then she's the employer. Not the employer, something. but again, you cannot be under two chefs. You cannot be under two drivers. You cannot. So you cannot, your you boss in the, at work says you can't go to home, you gotta work extra hours, you gotta do this. Yes, sir. Why? Why Why do you need to be doing that for some extra couple of hundred dollars? What's the purpose of you doing the job extra? So what is... What's the purpose? What is the purpose of not having the job? What do you need the job for? What's the purpose for the job? What if she likes it? What's, what's, no, you just want the money. What if it's not about the money? Like, okay, especially when she's with you because Yeah, if it's not about the money, have, then yeah, you don't have to be working. Money. Yeah, then you don't have to be working this long. Yeah, but if, if, if working for her is not about money. Yeah, so you, if you want to work, come work with me. Build with me. Why, why, if, if that's, why the, you wanna if build that's alone, the job that she doesn't like. Why you want to build alone when you can build together? I get that. Yeah, like I, I if have you, multiple in businesses. partnership, you can have a yeah, business yeah. together or do things together. But what if she has a passion and wants to yeah. do something else that is not the aqua park or is not one of your businesses? I have six. Maybe companies. she just likes to, I don't know, write poetry for. I, ha- I have a I have a publishing company. Mm-hmm. I actually do. Okay. Yeah, I do. Well, why does events, she need to work with you? Why does it need? Why she, so why she can, can she have, have her own? Hmm? So she can have the freedom. So she can be her own boss. But how I'm, I'm giving you the power to become your own free boss. Yeah, but it's under have, your wings. No, not my wings. I'm, I'm giving the power to be your own boss. You don't have to be doing this. And again, a lot of women do not want to be bosses. It's not built in. It's, it's a very masculine energy to be your own boss. It's a very masculine to be. You want to be in your feminine energy. For you to be in your feminine energy, I need to provide and protect and give you all these things. So how am I going to make me make you my woman and do this this for you and keep you in your hustle and bustle and worry about this and this and this well if it's not about money then it's not a then it's, it's always not about a money. hustle anymore it's always about money well let's let's yeah, let's yeah. Uh, give me a, a job that you do for that money okay you're doing social working because you love to help people that's different right yeah, that's work too yeah that's that's cute that's fun <laughs> I, again, again, you're talking to somebody who, who is structurally business. Yeah. Again, I have multiple businesses. I tick that way. And yes, you know, that's good that you have in that. But again, if it's going to take away all your will to live and when you come back home, you can't be with me anymore, that's a problem. Yeah, but that sounds like an unbalanced uh, work and private life. For her, not for me. Yeah, when you say that, like yeah, when she goes yeah, to work, yeah, because if you're gonna be working, yeah, because if you're gonna have a job, you're gonna have a, you know, you're gonna work from what nine to five. What, what time? What time? Yeah, you or work? less. Like you can Usually, work three hours or four hours a day. What job is that? There's <laughs> jobs where you can do it. You don't have to do full time jobs, okay. you know. But I'm just like what what I found so uh, fascinating is like when you're in a partnership, why can't the partner have like an own job? own life and even if it's not about money because i feel like for men because you have this role of providing and hustling um you always connect money to jobs but there's people and especially women who just want to do things I because want they to like to peace. learn because Listen. they like to Listen. you know they value certain things or they they feel valued yeah. doing certain Again, things if i want my woman to have peace and calmness so she can give me more love is that a bad thing or a good thing that's a good thing. Okay, that's it. Okay, you know, let's let's. Yeah, yeah. Why, why why should I look at you, and you come back home, you're worried about, uh, you know, your paycheck or not being paid on time or this thing happened to you or this person did you wrong or talked to you wrong, 
when you can avoid all that. Okay. Uh, just so we can speak on it easier, okay. at least for me. Yeah. Um, let's say we're partners. Yeah. Yeah. You take your role as a provider very seriously. Yeah. So I just assume you're going to provide for me. Obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now we live together. Yes. We're sharing a household. Mm -hmm. I'm so fucking bored being home all the time. Mm -hmm. Why would you be home all the time? <laughs> well, or just like visiting family or friends yeah. i feel like i want to do something we, like we, i need we, to we're we flying every there's... month at least once yeah okay what else okay we're like, doing things together all the time when, when we're day. at home and you're working because you have all these multiple jobs yeah i have people working for me too yeah but you're not home all the time you're also doing stuff right i do stuff home also because i have a big house so why not okay yeah. but like you have your time where you, where you like yeah. think of work where you invest uh, where you invest your energy in work or mm. jobs or whatever it's an extension of you it's yes. an extension of your personality why can't i have the same have the same i like talking to people yeah have the same why can't i have my podcast have your podcast because my podcast this podcast for example it's not it's, it's i'm just investing money yeah. it doesn't give me any money know, like it's not generating it. yeah. money at the moment for now. for now yeah but i like doing it yeah do it Nobody's so stopping you. it's not about the money no but again this only takes two three hours of the day exactly yeah fine with me that's absolutely fine so yeah things can, like that so yeah that's I, fine your woman can have a job as long as it's not full-time exactly as long as it doesn't Cause, take because i can tell you listen in three hours we're gonna fly I need to be able to get a suitcase and be ready. Okay. I want to fly. Needs to be flexible. Yeah. If I want to be flying this weekend, this, this place, I want to bring it with me. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, why are you in my life? Mm, because you love each other and yeah, you're so in a partnership and so you come want with to me. do things together. Yeah, do things together. If I, I want to fly, I want to go to Maldives for five, five days. I want to bring it with me. If I'm going to this this country for business, I want to bring it with me. Why would I be there alone when I have you in my life? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Otherwise, I'm gonna get some some other girlfriend somewhere else in the world. Also. Okay. Is that is that what you want? What? Like having another like the too much work. I did it before. It's too much work. Too much work. Okay. Yeah. So um, we check the first yeah. first first yeah. thing oh, jobs. I think so. Yeah. Okay. What else? <laughs> or not? You want to add something? No, no, right. You want to say something? Go ahead. I'm going I feel like you want to say something about no, no, this. No, no. I'm good. Next. <laughs> Move on. Next. Another one. Respect. Yeah. What about it? What does that mean? Respect is just how you speak to the man. Again, it's a simple thing. It's very simple, you know, because you know how to be respectful and disrespectful. It's a very I feel like it's a very complicated thing. It is. It, it, it should be very simple. It should be very simple. The way you speak to me, the way you look at me, the way you, if we're outside, how you talk, we're inside. If we have a problem, how do you have a discussion, not our argument? Yeah. Yeah, sit down, talk to me. If your volume goes up, are you okay? But if the volume goes up, it, it can also be a level of emotions, right? Yeah, it doesn't yeah. have to yeah, be I calm, disrespect. I calm, I, yeah, I calm it down. I grab you and hold you, calm you down, not a problem. But then you still want to be successful, then like, okay. Do you want to be single? Question. Oh yeah, question, do you want to be single? Yes or no? No, okay, fine, let's calm down. That, that sounds like a threat. So yeah, if she's not threat, calming yeah. down, then she's single. No, because yeah, because I'm gonna talk to you. I will calm you down. I'll do everything possible as a as a man to calm you down and be understanding and be, you know, observing and like suck all the negative energy and fix it by whatever issue you have. But if you still want to be in that vibration, let me help them. Yes, we all have moments of anger and exactly. passion. That's normal. That's understandable, totally. Okay, so if if you're getting passionate, yeah. Uh, and when you're raising your voice, yeah. I can tell you, as your woman, you want to be single? You can't, because you can't. I'm the anchor, aren't you? We're not equal. We're not equal, but... We're not equal. Okay. Nobody, uh, it's a simple, it's a simple nobody is equal. Simple question. In a man, you want somebody who's smarter than you? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, you want someone who is wiser than you? I want something to be always better in everything Okay, than so me. stronger than you? More everything. More money than you? Okay, everything. so you are describing to me as superior. How is superior is you equal? It, do, it, it doesn't have to be superior because no, I feel you're like you're describing a superior. Why, why makes you think that I'm describing a superior? No, because when you're someone who is stronger than you, more powerful than you, smarter than you, richer than you, he is a superior than you, what more big, uh, more advanced than you. Because the word is superior. That's more. the word. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but the word, uh, that's that's the English. Better than me. Yeah, better than me. Yeah, better than me. Yeah, better than me. So yeah, so like we, again, 
you as a woman you bear than me in so many things and I'm bearing than me so many things okay like when if somebody comes in the room right now a, yeah. a, a burglar comes in do I expect you to come up and beat him up or I should get up and get beat him up it's me so if you have to tell me that I have to get up and beat him up it's a problem right so everybody of us have uh, given duties okay you know I have somebody comes in right now to okay. insult you so? it's my job to get up and kick his ass and because you're a superior your woman can say or give you the same treatment like and asking you you want to be single okay. if you start raising your voice you, you guys send me you guys send me okay yes I tell you yes yes yeah, and then you, you divorce yeah uh, that's that's like a short relationship yeah <laughs> good to know you bye bye Felicia <laughs> but okay that sounds like you're you're either looking for a woman who is controllable like no, it's the, about, a person who you can control okay it's not about control and, have it here. It's that, I was waiting for you to go there. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, because I'm taking you like there. Like a, a relationship Cause, cause, cause is fluid. You, like you have two two people. Like it's it's action reaction. Yeah, because see, I'm gonna throw a word at you and see how you react to it. Submissive. Yeah. How you react to this word? How do I act to this? Word? React to this word. I what do you? I, yeah. I think submissive submissiveness. I'm not sure if that's the word. Yeah. I think that can be a beautiful thing. Okay. Because when I say the word submissive, immediately that goes crazy what is that, that? the what internet that? <laughs> the women in the end they go crazy so that means oh you should be controlling your messaging what was it messaging whatever the word is and all this stuff it's like submissive like you said okay explain to me what submissive is in your mind because because I, I can throw it at you because you have both programmers in your head so you understand both ways submissive for me is like um i just see it as for example you have a, a leader and a follower mm -hmm. Uh, when the leader says let's do this that you uh submit to that and you're like okay yeah you give in and that's what you're doing mm -hmm. is that a problem to be submissive to, you, to your man absolutely okay. is it a power to be submissive to your woman sometimes if she have a good point exactly if she has so a good point. let's switch it yeah because it's again, good when to be I submissive need, to see, your man yeah. when he has a good point yeah but see for me like if i need your advice i will come to you hey what do you think of this? Mm -hmm. I listen to it, and if I think your advice is towards what I think is right, I go. With it. If it's not, it's like mm, no. I was, I was still going if I don't think it's the right one. But in general, usually, it's I think eighty percent. It's always going to be the right thing. Usually, a woman give you advice. Usually, eighty percent of this it goes the right way. But again, the thing about the business is okay. A bodyguard. I'm your bodyguard right now. I tell you, sit, sit, stand, stand, follow, follow. I need to have some kind of authority on you to be able to protect you. Make sense? If that's your job, yeah. Yeah. So as a man, my job is what? What's what's my duty, supposedly, if I'm your man? What's, what's my duties? To protect, well, to okay, protect. Okay, hello. To provide. Hey, what? To love. Mm -hmm. To nourish. Okay. To take care. Okay. So I'm going now. I'm going from. Go ahead. Yeah. If, you, if you notice, I'm moving from masculine to yeah, yeah, yeah. feminine trades. Continue, yeah. Because I feel like all the trades, masculine or feminine, are interchangeable, mm. and if you're asking me, are needed from both sides. Yeah. Like I need to be able to sub, to be submissive yeah. to my partner, and but I feel like my and partner for you, needs to. What do you need to have? Hmm? And for you to be submissive, what do you need to have? Trust. Okay. And continue. You need to feel in a feminine space how if you feel in a feminine you space you need to feel pr uh, protected yeah safe pr pr okay and safety comes in what Mis only physical everything else like you, have, you don't have to worry about bills or rent or this and this and this yeah so providing adds all these things so when I have these things taken care of I'm taking care of you financially emotionally physically sexually and f all the stuff then shouldn't I be getting that stuff from you also absolutely okay so, so it works both ways. Yeah, so that's nice. if I'm doing all the stuff, what I'm asking for is nothing. If I ask a woman just to be with me all the time and spend this time, because again, I am too much work. Like, I am a full-time job. In a relationship, as much as you get, f like, like, get one with one another, you're also two separate people. That's the idea. Sometimes be you will separate, ask... Do your life, have your life. I have my life, but we also overlap. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. But don't have too much... Uh, life that this that the overlapping disappears where you can lose each other exactly because what happens a woman oh I need to do this so much and so, okay. do you really have to do that what's what's the ROI what's the return investment in this 
okay, if it's just an emotional reaction, so okay, fine, I, I get it. It will pass in time, a week or two weeks, you get it done. But then if it's just financial, really, do we have to do that? Because sometimes, like, you know, I would look at things like, really, I'm having this headache for like, you know, a thousand dollars. I'm having this trauma and headache yeah, for but this. Yeah, but what it, but like, listen, if I am a man, who, I worked so hard on myself yeah. to create my value and my, all these things that I did myself. Mm-hmm. Why do I need to go back and suffer again for that stuff? When you're having kids, for example, together, mm. yeah, and um, we're having kids. Now, um, my job, my uh, three-hour job calls me and they're like, yeah, um, l- we want to go to this place for one week. Mm. And there's two kids involved. Mm. Uh, do you think, and the kids are like under three years old. Mm. Do you think I can go or not? Yeah, I think Side so. note, this yeah. is something I like a lot. Okay, so who's going to take care of kids? Me. Yeah. Okay, and what if I, have, I also have things to do? Don't you think, okay. But what if I also have things to do? Because I'm the provider, right? Yeah. Okay. So that's, what, yeah. that's my point. Yeah. So because you are the provider, your um, desires or your plans always go first. To an extent, yeah. But certain times, I can be understanding, okay, fine watch the kids for three, four hours while I do this, fine, no problem. Yeah, but not for a week. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny because um, I had uh, a guest not so long ago, I think it's like four episodes Mm. uh, before this, maybe longer, but um, she is also a TV presenter and uh, we were having a conversation about partnership and she has two sons. And when she was sharing her story that she just had a child and her job called her, to go to LA for two weeks. Mm. And she immediately told him like, no, I can't do this because you know, I have a child at home, blah, 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 mm-hmm. blah. And when she was sharing that, I felt the same, like, yeah, yeah, you can't do that because you have a job. You know, you have uh, children at home and who's mm. gonna take care of the children? And we automatically like both forgot, like there's a dad involved also, like a dad can take care of the children. Mm-hmm. And when she actually called her husband and told her, told him like, yeah, I got this offer, but I didn't, you know, I refused it. He was like, why? Why did you refuse? Like, this is something you want to do. Why are you not going? She's mm. like, yeah, it's two weeks, two weeks. And he's like, yeah, you don't trust me that I can take care of the children? <laughs> and when she said that, I'm like, holy shit. That's a very interesting perspective, you know, because for me, I'm not a mom. I don't have children. But when she was sharing that, I, I was immediately thinking like, no, you can't go. You have children. Mm. But it's like I'm taking away a responsibility and I'm taking away trust from my partner, partner who's not there. But like a dad can also take care of the children. Absolutely, yeah. And like you have that ability. Yes. And if you're in a position where you're in, like, yeah. you know, you have people working yeah, I, for you, you can be like, okay, I am in a position to take care of the children. It's a matter of, uh, it's a matter of do I want mm. to take this role? Yeah. And do I want to let my, uh, do I want my wife to go yeah. somewhere else? Because they need, because again, there's different variables here. Maybe they need the money, they need the career, the job. Okay, fine. I it, can, again, I can take it. It's not case. about the money. It's always about also, money. No, no, no. It's also oh, it's in this, in this case, yeah. because he has enough money. Okay. It's her passion. It's not about the money. Okay. Again, you have enough money. It's not about my money for the podcast. Yeah. It's about the passion. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. 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 Again, I say here, okay, I have my parents that can help and so on and so on. Family. I, yeah, yeah. You can add things to it. But the issue again, again, because my days are more filled up with a lot of things, as you know. Sometimes having freeing up a whole week in this stage may be a little bit too hard. I can do two, three, four, five days, but then I have to stop. But then, I, okay, come get the kids with me to every meeting and so on and so on. Some meetings I can do that, some meetings I can't do that with me. I don't want to have a nanny because I don't want the kids to be raised by a nanny and so on and so on. And I have to be raised by the mom and the dad because that's how it's supposed to be. Nanny is there to help in the house and the shores, but not mm-hmm. for the raising and so on and so on. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's an interesting. Uh, yeah, I think it's interesting because I noticed I, I, I grew up with this traditional mm. uh, standard, as you said it, um, where the husband takes care of the money and the household mm. and provides. Um, but I, growing up, I felt like when you do that as a woman, like when you give that role to a man, you take like an unhealthy role where you start doing all the things that he wants. Mm. 
uh, without checking in with yourself if you're able to do it, whether if you really want to do it, if you can do it, just because you're dependent mm. on somebody else's budget uh, for him to provide for mm. you. Um, it's just great thing, woman. It, it's Being so dependent. fucking scary. It, 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 every time I see somebody, the biggest freak out for them is to be dependent on me. The biggest freak out. Is to? To be dependent on somebody else. To be dependent, oh absolutely. They freak out. They don't believe, because the issue that like, a lot of the women, their first relationship with a man is their father. And a lot of fathers, unfortunately, before were shit fathers. They run away, they didn't be good parents, good fathers, and so on and so on, and ruins the whole narrative of how a man could be. And that's the whole thing. It's like, you know, I was still my friends, like, listen, you need to be better men, better fathers, because we are the most important relationship in the women's and in our daughter's lives. Because that's the standard, that's the base of everything else. If she is raised to be a queen, she's going to be a queen. She's going to be raised properly. She won't fall for any temptation, so on and so on. So if her kids, I spoil them. I take care of them. I built in them their self-esteem and self-love. And that's why I see it. Most of the times I see all the relationships that doesn't work out, the number one thing, always daddy issues. What people want, like people in partnerships, is actually the same. Mm -hmm. To bring it back to respect, because I still feel like that's a very difficult thing to um, describe, because what respect is for you uh, yeah, it could be different thing for you. Can be disrespectful yeah, yeah, for exactly, me. Exactly, yeah, exactly, yeah. But again, I think that also comes from a very important base is communication. Like when you start, let's talk about what do you feel about this. There's going to be a whole list of questions. Yeah. What do you think of this? I think of this. So we both know where we stand on these things. Yeah. Because just like earlier, you were saying like if 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 you start raising your voice, mm. you ask questions like do you want to be single yeah. actually you find it disrespecting when a woman raises her voice mm -hmm. but then you're not acknowledging but again, that there's emotions different, there's different levels of voice there is I'm being emotional blah, 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 but there is like you know rude yeah when it comes to rude I don't even argue with you mm -hmm. you done you done upstairs but this sounds like a child man yeah it sounds like you're, you're punishing a child yeah because you because again you you, you 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 lost the whole the level of communication because again what love is nice to have but, but love, that, love not, is just the table it's not how you want to be treated right no because again why would you treat me this way like if you're okay, why would you come and so take, we, why would I come and talk down to you like you're nothing okay so uh, you don't want a woman to raise her voice or talk to you in a rude way which rude yeah. way I totally yeah rude yeah I'm talking about rude you emotionally upset about something fine I'll hear you I'll hear you listen to you okay fine but okay, calm down baby calm down sit down next to me come here and hug you calm you down I'll try to take any negative energy out of you first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But then there's levels to how high your voice is. Yeah. There's levels. And no man should, you know, again, there's no no person should take that kind of rudeness. Yeah, I just feel like in a healthy relationship, yeah. um, someone can be emotional and raise their voice. And I feel like you need to be feeling safe with your partner uh, when you're emotional and I would want my partner to hold space for what I'm feeling at that moment instead of feeling that I might risk to be punished again emotional is one thing rude is a different thing emotional is understandable everybody gets you know something triggered them somebody thinks that's normal that's absolutely normal sit down talk about it you want to cry about it it's tissue whatever tell you they'll be okay we'll talk about it but then the rudeness is something else if you're rude, that's a different case. If you're emotional, that's normal. Everybody can, we are allowed to, be ha to have feelings. Mm -hmm. That's a natural thing. But the issue is when you cross the line and you start talking nonsense, yeah. start, start swearing at you. And, like, and okay. when you say we're not equal, does that mean like you can be rude and you can rude. Uh, raise rude. your voice? Because that's, no, no, that's no, when I'm angry, I just take myself away. So I don't even interact. I don't do it. And I can see, I, I, I joke all the time. I don't do things. I don't do serious. I'm always joking. If you want to be rude to you, trust me, you'll be no. So don't mistake. Oh, but, I, but this is how I felt. This is how you feel. This is, how, this is the voice on your head. Mm -hmm. This is why I say it. This is how it meant. But if you want to take that out of context and put it in somewhere else because you want to feel that kind of way, that's on you. That's not on me. You know, I'll do my best to be the most direct shooter with you, but then if you're gonna be, you know, emotional and sensitive about everything, it's gonna be a problem. That's why I say in the beginning, you need to be somebody who's funny and smart. Because mm -hmm. I joke all yeah, the time. In the previous uh, Exactly, podcast. yeah, because yeah. I joke a lot. 
You need to be smart to understand. Don't overanalyze me. Just understand me. Because mm-hmm. if, if we overanalyze a diamond, it's nothing but, cop- by, by, but carbon, coal. So don't overanalyze things. Because I don't even go that far with it. Respect. Yeah, simple. Respect, appreciation. It takes you everywhere. I'm going to describe a situation. Oh, God. Hey, she goes. <laughs> it's something that actually really happened to me. Mm-hmm. And I'm listening to you. I'm, I, I mean, I don't know you, so I don't know okay, how see. you're going to react, Let's but see. I just want to show how respect can be different for everybody. Okay, um, Do you have a sister? Yes. Okay. Um, imagine you're at a dinner table in a restaurant outside mm. with your sister, other family members, okay, some children, and um, somebody is hitting on your sister. Mm. A guy is hitting on your sister. Mm. He tapped her on her shoulder. First, he knows that you are not the partner. He is sure. Mm. Yeah, he done some research. He knows. Mm. She knows I'm the, I'm the brother. Hmm? He knows I'm the, he knows I'm her brother. Yes. Okay. He knows you're the brother. Oh, okay. And then um, he interacts with her. And said, "Sorry, I don't want to be disrespectful, but um, I think you're a really nice person." And would you like to have coffee one day? Hmm. How would you feel about that? We'll see. How would know. you as a brother I, I feel about that? I really don't that? know. Because again, my, my, daughter, my sister is an, an adult woman. She mm-hmm. knows her shit. And usually a man comes to her, she would like push before. <laughs> usually, most of the time. But if he came respectfully, okay. But in, in general, it's, like, it's nice to come and talk to me. I told him I have a boyfriend. I have a partner. Did you? No. Okay. Uh, I was just really uncomfortable, okay. to be honest. Okay, so what, okay, I, question. I was what, what was the approach that he should have taken for this to work? I think this was the perfect approach. That happened, that scene. Mm. And... Um, and your reaction? So the, the male family member yeah. didn't see or hear all of this okay. because he was focused on the children. Yes. And then uh, another family member made him aware. She's like, oh my God, did you see what just happened? He's like, no, what happened? And then we, were, we started talking about it. Hmm. When I was talking to him one-on-one, I asked him like, how would you feel if, if you actually did see all of that happening in front of your eyes? Now you were at the table, hmm. but you didn't see or hear anything, but how would you feel if you did? Hmm. And he said, I would feel disrespected. Hmm. And I said, why? He's like, yeah, because I'm here. You know, like, you can see like there's a male yeah. uh, with you and he approaches you. And I told him like, yeah, but I'm sure he knows that you're not my partner because he'd done some research mm. before. He asked me before. It's like, still, I would feel disrespected. Mm. And that's funny because now my male family member feels disrespected, but I felt respected. Yeah. I felt like it was very a respecting yeah. way how he did it. I would feel very disrespected. What happens sometimes is like when men are trying to hit on you behind your family's back mm. you know uh, that's when i feel disrespected ultimately it depends how you feel about the person yeah it's based on your values yeah and again how you want to be you treated like the person or not ultimately too it's like because again like you know i can get away and say a lot of ridiculous things to women because i i'm this 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 but if a guy who looks a certain way and dresses a certain way, say the same things, you get a slap in his face. So again, it's how you carry yourself, how you handle yourself, what kind of energy do you have, and so on and so on. So it's multiple values. So yeah. Next. That was respect. Yeah. What's another value? You said how she touches me. Oh, touch is very important, but that's, that comes later. That comes later. Appreciation is more important also. Appreciation. Appreciation. Yeah, yeah. Celebration, appreciation. Celebration. Yes. You want to be celebrated? Why not? Why not? If I'm doing all that for you, if I'm accomplishing all these amazing things, I'm doing all these awards, I'm doing all these projects, I'm doing all this charity, I'm taking all these things for you done, what's wrong with some appreciation, some good words for your man, some good touch? What's wrong with that? Nothing. You say, when I get all of this work for you done, do you actually do it for your partner? Do no, you do uh, all the work yourself? done, regardless. And I, I accomplish things that the people do not accomplish. Mm. I get awards for things people can't accomplish. So I do all these like phenomenal things. What's wrong with some nice words or some hey? Because everywhere I go, I'm the boss. And then you come home and like I'm nobody. Why? Mm. So you want to feel appreciated and celebrated? Of course. At home. Why? Because this is the, this is where you have peace. Mm. 
because sometimes you can be somewhere else and you weren't appreciated or loved or given that day and then you come home you get nothing also no here you can feel respected you should be respected and appreciated oh baby you went hard hard day work let me do this for you simple things because how hard very simple eh? take care of me a small massage here maybe some food maybe how is the day talk here hugs kisses whatever it is simple things what's wrong with that if I'm doing all this for you say so again I'm, I'm, saying, I'm asking for this because I'm doing all this you can't be asking for this when you're doing nothing interesting yeah because you can't sit down okay you do nothing you don't provide you sit down on the couch and you, you're a lazy ass and you, you're on your phone all day and not doing nothing and not, not doing other stuff and ask for that no I would say do this and then ask for, and this will come to you if it doesn't come to you naturally it's a problem big problem if what comes to you naturally if, there's no, if, the, if that treatment does not come back naturally mm-hmm. it's a big mm-hmm. problem mm-hmm. compassion is a simple thing something else again yeah yeah but that, see, it's simple things. Again, if I am doing all this, it's again, the thing I said, the anchor is I'm doing this. If I'm doing all that stuff, at least get that. Because there's men who's doing nothing and getting more than that. There's men who are doing nothing and getting more. Yeah. You know? And how do you show her your appreciation? Whatever ways she, she what's her language of love? Because everybody has different language of love. So Absolutely. I, what, yeah. Like there is actually in the beginning of the relationship here is some tests do them online so I understand who you are no I'm serious it's, you like, actually ask the person you're yeah, yeah. dating to do a test yeah yeah, yeah so really? I understand so I, I, so I get like a, a shortcut <laughs> it's because ultimately I want to make you happy and I want you to make me happy so when you both understand this is how I take this how I react this, this, it's, this, very, this. it's very efficient it is very efficient <laughs> and then you should find out why should we waste time and go through mistakes when we can literally you know shortcut this whole thing and make it very perfect so there's literally two things like language of love and there's personality traits Mm-hmm. There's this and this. Now we figure out who we are. And then ask questions. If you want to do this right. Are you willing to share any. She's going somewhere now, I see. No, 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 no. <laughs> just slowly, slowly towards the end. Yeah. <laughs> quick, quick, quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just uh, any last words. No. No, don't say no everybody gives last words nonsense you already just have like so a, much words for an hour and a half or whatever. <laughs> a little bit more but yeah true just anything if you rest you rust if you rest you lost you, you rust uh oh yeah so don't rest always have chaotic energy that's one number two um, you're not a tree what? you are not a tree you're not a tree you can move change your circle my parents have changed your circle Go ghost for the next six months and do what you want to do. You will be surprised how much you accomplish in that six months when you're a ghost. Mm. And stop being afraid to fail. Stop being afraid to fail. Fail, fail. Nice. Fail a lot, fail forward. The air, see, it's a success. For you to reach success, you have to fail. So the earlier you fail, the earlier you reach success. So fail quickly. Fail quickly. Quickly and fast and forward. Fail fast. And forward. And forward. And quickly. Yeah. Okay. Do it fast. And interesting, you said about the first thing, like always keep moving, don't rest. Yeah. You, you rest, you rest. That's why you need a woman. So sure. she will teach you some rest. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> she will teach you some peace. I have peace. <laughs> she would add no peace to me. <laughs> yeah. Ahmed, thank you very much. Finally, it's over. Oh, <sighs> gosh. Do you really think like that? Yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> You're ready for that meat yeah meat <laughs> thank you so much for your time thank you for sharing all of these words so much for a lot of them thank you for watching don't forget to like subscribe to the channel and if donation. you value what donation uh, don't donation also thank you you want to do it no no you tell don't. them tell them but don't follow her don't subscribe just don't, just don't do it don't follow subscribe it's a lot of nonsense and amazing things here you do not want to hear about it's better to lose it's better well all the people who made it up until this point yeah now they don't i'm sure they i'm sure they think differently yeah but yeah as he said don't forget to make a donation on my website sanaorshi.com slash donation because as i said earlier this is all just funded thank you many thanks in advance and see you next time oh. happy a little bit happy wow i have my phone see